your own score and apart from academics you should also focus on where you are lagging in non academics sometimes there is a judgmental error in the paper that you are not able to judge the questions 55 questions will take lesser time even than the rbd so the time which it's consumed for rbd and the time which they going to take for them two together will be almost the same hello dear guys i hope you have been doing really well you must be excited for your j mains and as uh, like soon very soon the admit cards are scheduled to be released so i hope you have been preparing really well according to your schedule so here i'm bringing you some tips and tricks for your coming j mains exams so i'll be going to take your physics section over here and the physics section the first thing people what we going to look upon is your timetable so according to the timetable people if i say what is the timetable you all are following right now it's very very important you must have studied really well till now but why i am focusing on the timetable for the first thing now is something which is very important there's something called muscle memory so if you are right now not sitting on table and chair using not table table and chair and doing the past year questions or doing the mock tests as being anticipated as like the real j means you whatever you have done till now it's really good but if you won't be able to do the things as the actual exam scenario while sitting on a chair and using a table you won't be able to do really good in the exam as well so time table is something you should sticking up so sir what about the time table so first thing about the time table i say so it should not be the number of hours which you are putting right now it should be the content what you are focusing on so now you should divide the time what you have in your hands and again three parts like pcm and now you should start revising the formula you should start revising the concepts which you have already marked out which you already made in your short notes so revision is something you should start and for that the time table is something which you have to follow if i give you an idea in the morning time you should take those subjects where you have to learn the things okay it's very good to remember the concepts but something like uh, learning like in formulas of chemistry formulas of physics or mathematics the learning part you should keep in the morning the practicing part you should keep in the afternoon or maybe in the evening as well so that's the time table you should all follow the number of days maybe let's say you have 8 8 uh, days or 10 days according to your admit card date so the let's say you have 10 days in your hand so the number of days you have you should divide for the all three subjects let chemistry is a little lengthy but physics and the mathematics is totally depending upon the concepts and the formulas so according to that divide the content in the 10 days and start following the procedure one more thing is you should stick the time table and apart from revising the stuff apart from learning the things you should always give one test a day at least as a mock till your date will not be confirmed okay so next thing you should now follow people after the time table would be the revision sir what will be revision so how to do the revision sir many students would have seen people they start revising the stuff from the very first page they start revising the theory from the very first page now we cannot do that now we don't have much days in our hands next thing is what to revise and how to revise first thing if i say for what to revise would be is the number of formulas that are very very important they have asked already in james past years that's i have been saying from the very first day to the past year questions to the past year questions so you must have seen how many formulas are very very important after seeing the importance of those formulas as the teacher has told you already in the classes also we should also revise those formulas as many times as you can second thing you should focus upon is the concept so the number of concepts the j has been repeating in many many times there are certain chapters which i'm going to show you now the the j means have been repeating those concepts day and night so you have to revise those concepts multiple number of times that's the second thing you should follow for revision if i say for third thing that is the testing how sir we should test ourselves now people if you do not do the mock test as a real case scenario of the j means you won't be able to do really fine in your real j means so now you should sit on the uh, same day at least one paper a day as i told you because now you have to revise the stuff also you have to remember the formulas also so not more at least one paper a day of all the three subjects like a real testing scenario of j means by the same pattern you should set we have also uploaded those uh, in your accounts so you should sit that and attempt those questions by the real jme scenario and see your own score and apart from academics you should also focus on where you are lagging in non academics sometimes there is a judgmental error in the paper that you are not able to judge the question sometimes you are not able to see the balance like integer base you can see there are 10 questions you have to choose any five so there you have to see your judgmental error so what kind of judgmental error you have what kind of calculation errors you are making the mistake in so those kind of things you can only learn about yourself if you are test yourself by taking a real case scenario till your exams and the fourth thing would be again very very most important which i repeated would be the 
JMS past year questions because if you're preparing for an exam and if you're not looking up at least to 10 years question of past years, I hope you won't be doing really fine in the real case as well. So please, please see the past year questions, what they have given, what kind of pattern of the questions they have given, from which chapters, what kind of concepts they are emphasizing more. You can only learn those stuff while doing the past year questions. Nobody can help you in that. You have to sit with it and I hope you all have done that PIQs, but still if we have not done, we have don't have much, we don't run right now not having much days in our hands so you can only start with 2018 or 2019 so these three to four years papers at least you should do before going into your real exam so now i'm going to take the uh, separation uh, chapter by chapter i can see the weightage of the questions i've been putting on the slide over here now so let's show you quickly if you see people starting with the mathematical tools over here in mathematical tools, people uh, looking to be very easy because it's the mathematics, but the number of questions they have asked. Now, one thing you can say, sir, from 2014 to 18, they have not asked much. But as soon as you start with the 19 and 20, the number of questions has increased drastically. My dear students, please don't forget these all questions are taking all the shifts together. Like in 2020 uh, and 2021, we had four four attempts. So in those four four attempts, there are there were multiple number of shifts. So taking all the shifts together, all the attempts together, these are the total number of questions written over here. So for the mathematical tools, you can say it's averagely important, not much to think about because that's the pure mathematics, not much physics is required. If I start with the rectilinear motion, easiest topic in kinematics, and the number of questions are moderate. 17, 25, and 15 in 2022. In 2022, although we had two attempts, but in those two attempts, were, they were taken in multiple number of shifts. So all those shifts together, they are giving 15 questions. Next thing, if I say for projectile till circular motion, number of questions are very, very important. So especially if I say for circular motion, they have asked the multiple number of questions. So you should be going to practice that again as many times as you can. Next thing, n friction. Now, nowadays it's been anticipated that although they give the direct questions, but their application based questions in other chapters are asked more. So if you ask me some NLM and friction, yes, there are certain questions in which they have asked the questions directly or based on chapter, but now they are using these chapters concept in other chapters indirectly also. So that makes this chapter NLM friction very, very important. Then I proceed with the work power and energy. I need not to tell you how much important it is apart from this own, uh, chapters, questions, the number of questions asked from the work power in other chapters, complete mechanics if I say in class 12, if I go for electro part, then number of questions they have been including the work power energy concepts are highly likely being asked in the JE means. Then I start with the center mass and collision, a little lengthy chapter people, but the number of questions asked are also moderate, not many, not less than the RBD. Here you can see number of questions generally averagely asked are more in number in comparison to central mass. Although in 2022 almost same same number of questions they have asked. But if you see the previous years also the chances of getting asked questions from the central uh, rotational motion would be highly in comparison to central mass. Gen not just in JMS. Later on after your JMS exam we're going to take up the similar thing for advance. There you can see that in advance also there are very highly chances that they're going to ask the questions from RBD. So very very important. If I say for SHM, now again, like the work power, SHM concepts are also directly been utilized people. You can see 17 questions. So a little less than the RBD. But one thing I can repeat people, the time which you take generally to revise RBD is comparatively much more than comparison to the SHM. So if you don't have much time, at least you cannot miss out SHM. Direct questions, apart from that, they have been using these concepts in other chapters like gravitation, like electrostats and many more. So you should not just drop this chapter before going to the exam. Next thing I can say is so waves on string and sound waves. Easy question. Most of the questions they ask on Doppler effect from there. So you can again see almost 17 questions, but the number of questions they have been asking consistently. That's why this makes this chapter very important. Easy to remember, easy concepts. Now you ask me, sir, every chapter is important, but what to actually do for last days? Then for that, I tell you, always focus on those chapters first, which are isolated. Example, if I give you send, uh, like waves on string and sound waves, most of the concepts are isolated. SHM, most of the concepts are isolated. Isolated means they may not be depending upon other chapters much. Here you can see the mechanics, tell RBD. So if you even miss any class of any of the chapter over here, or not able to do the question of mechanics, which is a little on the tougher side sometimes, because that tougher question sometimes uses concepts from many chapters together. But if I take you the SHM and the waves, definitely this is an isolated chapter. They cannot mix many questions. The toughness of the question is always on the easier level a little bit. That's why you should focus more on these kind of chapters. Next, if I say, so KTG and thermodynamics, one of the most important chapters of class 11th. 
Again, people, if I'll be at your place, I'll be the one to revise the KTJ in thermo first. Why? Not only for physics, people, this has been important for chemistry as well. Exactly the same thing you have studied in chemistry. Uh, we have studied in physics also now, people. So this is a chapter you cannot, cannot miss out. And you can see the number of questions, people. 30, almost twice than the RBD. Almost, I'm saying. So almost twice than the previous chapter. So the time which it takes to complete this chapter is very less small chapter KDJ in thermodynamics but the number of questions in physics and that too in chemistry are highly likely so if I'll be at your place then I'm going to revise the very first chapter from class 11 would be the thermodynamics in KDG. very very important that's why I'll put the double star over here people then calorimetry here thermal expansion heat transfer small small sections similar kind of patterns small formulas so here if you only revise the formulas chapter is done and number of questions you can see that that's not less 25 more than RBD so if I give an idea if you revise calorimetry section with the KDG and thermo this complete section which is almost taking 55 questions will take lesser time even than the RBD so the time which it's consumed for RBD and the time which they're gonna take for them two together will be almost the same so it's beneficial for you to revise these then fluid mechanics and surface tension Again, number of questions are 10, not very high likely, elasticity, viscosity. But now, next chapter which I'm going to focus most upon is geometrical aptics. Almost two questions, one to two questions, like minimally there will be one question. And now it's been observed that sometimes in some shifts, they have given two questions also, people. So geometrical optics, very easy section, isolated section, people. You don't have to remember many things. So geometrical optics is very, very important. Very less number of formulas, very less concepts and very easy chapter, people. You should not miss it by any chance, people. Next, if I want to go over electrostatics. I agree, electrostatics is a lengthy chapter. There are certain concepts, but people, electrostatic concepts and gravitation in some way are interrelated. Are, uh, you can see if you have studied electrostatics very well, the same type of formulas you have studied in the gravitation as well. So that's why I'm gonna take the gravitation and electrostatics together. And almost, you can say, almost 50 questions have been asked people. So the number of questions, you know, you see, you have to pay the price of the time for revising, but the reward which you're gonna get is almost 50 questions people. So the reward is highly uh, rewarding in nature. So that's why you should give a little time, but you should not miss electrostats and gravitation together people. Next thing I want to go on, electricity, very, very easy chapter. Again, double star over here. One to two questions have been asked. And my dear students, you can see, 49 questions they have asked last year, 49, yes, although all shifts together, but 49 people as equals to that uh, electrostats and gravitation combined. And you yourself know this is very important for boards also, for your practicals also. And now you can see it's very, very important for your GMAs. So not just 2022, in 2021 also, 2020. So regularly they have been giving many, many questions on complexity. So if I'll be at your place in 12th, the first chapter I'll give the preferences to geometrical optics. And after that, in lesser time, which will give you, give me give me a bigger reward will be the current like city people should not miss it next thing you can see for capacitance small chapter number of questions are also good in number of people as the time is going by emf yes again very very important so if second chapter will be connectivity for my revision, third chapter would be the electrostatics and gravitation combined. Fourth will be the EM, electromotive force or magnetic effects of current chapter as you may know the name of. Next, if I go for EMI, yes, I agree. EMI will be a lengthy chapter. So 25 number of questions, lesser than those, but still good number of questions they have been asked. But the time which it takes only to revise a little longer in other comparison to that. So if you have completed these, then you should focus on EMI. But before that, complete the revision of the previous chapters, people. Then, alternating current, small chapter people, basic questions and the number of questions are 18. So one question is averagely, one to 1.5. So average is between that number of questions, but at least one question, AC standard, easy, basic question related to the wave equations people. Next, EM waves, very, very small chapter of NCRD, smallest chapter of NCRD if I say so class 12th, but the number of questions people can you see? 24, that's more than AC. And that's a little in comparison with the, <coughs> Uh, EMI as well people so you cannot miss this chapter of EM waves wave optics <coughs> again very easy few number of formulas not more than 10 12 and wave optics YDAC Young's double HL experiment questions are highly being asked and that's the topic you should not miss out so there are multiple applications of the YDAC there are multiple types of YDAC they have given sometimes they are inserting the slab sometimes they have been changing the uh, sheet uh, the distance between the sheet and the slits so these kind of multiple things they have been putting in YDAC by using those permutations they have been giving multiple number of questions so you should not miss out because very very easy chapter next modern physics now 
one of the most important so three stars i'm going to put over here one of the most important chapter of class 12th most means most important even more important than the complexity so if I, like in 11th the most important chapter if i mentioned thermodynamics in kdg because it takes less time and the reward is very big similar to that in class 12th the first priority chapter will always be modern physics and you can see the number of questions my guys 55 not just for physics uh, you have studied already atomic structure in class 11th in chemistry so exactly the same thing is being repeating over here same thing of x-ray you have studied in chemistry same thing repeating over here radio like radioactivity you have studied a little bit in chemistry same thing repeating over here so number of questions 55 are also huge that to taking chemistry together so in total chemistry and physics if you combine the chances will be i guess 90 to 100 questions would be there and that number is so huge people so two to three questions average they have been asking in modern physics you cannot miss this people so if the second book you're gonna focus of class 12th more on second book is taking geometrical optics wave optics modern physics one modern physics two semiconductor so that is having more weightage or easiness of suffice to revise is a little more in comparison to the first book people then i'm gonna go for solid semiconductors and principle of communication system very easy 28 22 very very important especially in semiconductors logic gates may not be in your uh, board syllabus but that's uh, important syllabus one for your j mains syllabus people then UND, I don't think so. You have to put any time for UND. But people, errors and measurement, almost one question is fixed. On warrior caliper and screw coach, almost one question is fixed. Here also in J-Advance also. So these chapters are something UND. You can just do within one hour. So together UND and experiments. Uh, that's something errors and experiments you can do under an hour. So we should not give much time for this one. So if I again repeat for the 12th, modern physics, go for modern physics, geometrical optics, wave of text. The solid semiconductor principle of communication. Second book is something you should pick fast for revision. And if you have complete, if you have complete the second book for revision in twelfth, then definitely for first book, Kerlick City, you can go. You can go electrostatics and gravitation very very easily. So you should go for twelfth first. Then after you should jump on eleventh. Uh, and in eleventh, first chapter would be again. I'm going to repeat thermodynamics, KDG, complete the mechanics after that. Then small small chapters. That's how you're gonna make up the things. So twenty twenty two. Uh, number of questions we have put over here. Now you must be. Uh, really sure that which chapter to go first and which chapter to go last people that was from my side uh, stay tuned with us and if you have any query you can drop that the, in a message box and we're gonna get back to you within 24 hours thank you guys see you soon mm -hmm.